can't race them is he just builds them up in there like the cars. He just, well, one of them, mm-hmm. one of them are gone. I better go get it. I don't want to let it go. It's like, well, we'll let it go. And I'm thinking about it, let what go? Let your phone go? How is that reality? How is that? You own it. It's yours. But how is it really yours? It's just a virtual world of it. It's not even really there. So how can you own something, you know, that's not there? You know something I loved about Grandma is she had her games. And, it, you know, she had her farm. She had her farm animals. We talked about that, too, the we other talked, day. Yeah. She had her farm <laughs> animals, like, on her game, on the phone and stuff. I think she probably would have wanted that in real life, too. But it was beautiful. Like, she created it beautifully in the, almost like you would say, a metaverse. Because it's not this reality, but it's a game. It's virtual. Yeah. But it's instant gratification. It's instant gratification. So instead of you, you go doing out the work way, because this takes time, you get it now. But that's the problem, though. But it's not even real. It's not even it's real. Not even it's real. not even real. Well, because I guess in this universe, or, I don't, okay, I don't want to say that. Because I, I, don't, I don't believe that you have to work for something to, but I don't, but... I don't know, let me just use it in a term. I guess in this reality, you have to put things together mm-hmm. to get what you want, right? Like, if I wanted a farm, you know, I would probably need tractors. I would need, you know, I have to yeah. put things together to make... It know, happen. It happen. But in that, you just, it's it's really instant. It's just you, you can have anything you want instantly. Put in a thing. Not really. Almost type sense. So I can see where the metaverse is really good, and I can see where it's bad as well. And you know what? It's been here for a long time because oh, David, David, they, David was really into that in virtual Second world. Um, with uh, he had a girlfriend and everything in, in this this world, and yeah. and they were able to talk to I guess real life people, but through avatars. Yeah, See, I was like, what the fuck? Is you having sex with her? Yeah, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? How is that? Like, are you smoking weed? <laughs> and he would pay for this. He paid. He paid. He oh, paid oh to to do this stuff, yeah. this kind of stuff. I remember Grandma did at one point too. She, I remember, I was really young. She had a IW some. It was a something, some kind of app. I forgot. But it was a long time ago. But you know, she had a little app thing, and she was talking to people on there. It was a little. Uh, you can make your avatar and all the other stuff too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That tripped me out. I didn't know you could do shit like that. And I was like, wow. Okay. So, yeah, it's getting crazy. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not caught into that. I'm really not, I'm glad y'all are not either. And it's like, it's not, I mean, it's, it's not what I'm saying. So somebody's like, oh, I dunked on you. You're on the game. And it's like, here we are. And I'm like, I'm looking at him like, man. What the hell are you talking about? It's just a game. <laughs> you want to talk on me? Let's go to the court. Let's see what you can really do. Because yeah, you ain't going to do it unless you're a basketball player. That ain't going to happen. You better be good. Talk on me and roll up. Let's see. You didn't need to say it. But I don't know. Fucking game. That doesn't make sense. That's what, that's what caught me at a young age. And look at them like. like I never really cared for game, uh, <laughs> electronic games. Or even board games. I mean, I like bingo. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, I talked you on bingo. Bingo. (laughs) Okay, yeah, okay. You got me on that one. Yeah, I can see that. (laughs) Just fucking, yeah, I don't care, man. But yeah, that's what always caught me at a young age. It's like, it's not real. So I think balance is very important. Yeah. Balance is I feel like establish, you know, establishing and make sure, making sure you're you're all right in your physical, mental, you know, spiritual. Like, you know, you have that. Like, you have to it. Basically, you have mental health, you have spiritual health, like wealth. I mean, like all of across all, you know. But also, you have to fun too. Because, like, you think how I play Minecraft, and it's just a fun game that we like to play. It's just, you know. Yes. So I can see we're having fun. It's important as well. And I think that's part of mental health is just doing things that you love, you know, regardless of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. to the world with 
that with that. But then, you know, but then the adult mind is, you know, maybe maybe being a child is the higher self. Because that's like the pure state. You don't, you know, you're not, you're not worried about being judged or judging. You're not, you know, you're not really worried about anything. Some children do think about that. Well, yeah, some children do. You're right. But that, the pure form, the pure form of of a child is yes, an overflowing. What what did you say? Read it. So she was showing us this picture and showing us what an adult mind looks like and a child's mind looks like. The child mind is overflowing with, I, let's just say water, but just overflowing, and the adult mind has like a faucet attached to it, and there's only a little drop. a drip, yeah, a drip coming out of it. And so we were basically saying that it is important to have the child within us always. And I said, of course, the child within us and our higher self, they all correlate with each other. So, yes, so it's, it's good to have a good balance of it. Oh, you know, a perfect balance of it. Thank you. Thank you, Andrews.